All right. Okay. Looks live. like looks like we're on. We're live and direct. We're live, we're direct, direct, and on. Exactly. So we're coming at you, uh, folks. Uh, this is episode three o. This is three ten. You better say it again. <laughs> okay, three ten. Say it again. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ten, um, like the Ten Commandments. Oh, now we're getting all the historical and <laughs> biblical historical about. And biblical. Exactly. Oh my gosh. And oh, lyrical. So listen up, folks, you've downloaded episode 310. Uh, we're going to get stuck right into this one. We've got a, a review of Gladiator numero dos. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So before we get into the main show, we're going to speak about movie news and streaming and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Let's do shout out. So Deval, let's get into it. Yeah, first shout out. So we've got a, we've got a special shout out today. Mm. I don't know the person's actual proper name. Uh, so I can't really say what their name is. But yeah. we've got a shout out from a... You know, this is even going to surprise you, teacher. This is no, going to surprise you. This well, is nothing, Does anything surprise you? No, well, <laughs> hang on, because I think I know. Is this... This is going back... Um, this is going back, back. to... You. This is a lesson, yeah, that I think... <laughs> you know what? Uh, let me ask the people out there... Because I think sometimes, you know, when you do this sort of thing, you kind of, sometimes, you kind of just do. You kind mm. of just do and keep doing. But perhaps maybe we need to change how we do things. Because do things. maybe how we put out our, our, our YouTube videos or how we put out our show. I don't know. Do people want to, you know, digest it that way? Do people want it in little bite-sized chunks? Or do they want mm. the whole meal at once? Maybe we'll test something out. Because this... this uh, Shout out goes to someone by the I don't know they call handle. Anyway. What's the handle? The handle, yeah, the handle is uh, it's RJCB eleven ninety one. Mm. RJCB eleven ninety one. JCB eleven ninety one. Yeah, this person anyway. They they put they put a comment on our old school video about the Europa report. Yeah, which was a hidden gem. So the Europa Report is a film that came out, and I think it was 2013, mm. and it's about a, it's about a scientist, space you know explorers that go to Jupiter's moon, mm. Europa, and in the video I mentioned Saturn's moon, and even he says, "Oh, it's not Saturn, it's, it's Jupiter." Yeah, you got it wrong, Everyone says exactly. that. <laughs> <laughs> and they go to this moon that is like it's a small moon, uh, but it's got seven miles of ice around mm. it, and scientists believe that because of the the way the moon goes around Jupiter and the gravitational sort of manipulation of the of the other moons and Jupiter, that within the moon there's a, a source of heat. Because mm. when 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 planets or you know moons go around planets and other things are around it, it manipulates the the gravity around it. So they're thinking yeah. inside there's a, there's a source of heat. So mm. under that seven miles of ice, they reckon that there's more water on Europa. <sighs> Yeah, more yeah. water on Europa than there is on all the oceans of Earth. <sighs> Let that just sink in on Mate. all the oceans of Earth. So they reckon that there could be some life under there. Yeah. So this 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 film depicts that, and this person just you know messaged in to say that uh, the movie is a good film. It's a bit yeah. of a documentary, kind of scary, and he likes yeah. it. And, and like, exactly. From, and no, I mean that video that you posted up mm. from what that was years that was years ago, man. Years ago, yeah, two thousand and eighteen, I think we posted this, or two thousand and nineteen. One of them. It's got four thousand views. That's it's mad. Good. Yeah, it's got four thousand views, which for us is a lot. We only exactly. get two views normally. We <laughs> <laughs> only get two views: my view and your view. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the funny thing is about Europa <laughs> is there is actually a real life. Uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a real life uh, <laughs> science <laughs> scientists basically have sent a probe to Europa. That's, that's to Europa, to right? Okay, yeah, yeah, sent yeah, a probe yeah. to Europa to go and check it out, and they want to drill in the ice and find oh out if there's, if there's life. So this is actually happening. This is going to happen. Life. Not people, but just a probe. So, yeah. yeah, that's a very long shout out, but I just thought I'd mention all that. BCJ, man, chat, yeah. shout out to you. Mm -hmm. Keep it locked with the Flicksters. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you can comment on another one of our videos. Uh, and yeah. remember, folks, yeah, check out our videos. They're on YouTube. They're all up there. You can watch mm. us, you know, see our beautiful faces. 
and message us uh, and do all that sort of stuff. All right, okay, Devaldo, let's get into the show. And yep. so this is interesting, right? Okay, so um, the, the, what we're hearing now about MCU is the kind of the pairing back. They want to kind of slow down with their offerings. Mm. and But this one, it kind of like it kind of makes sense in a way because black panther has been so successful for uh the marvel mm. and i'm thinking shit why haven't we heard anything about the black panther like what's going to happen and obviously it's because of what happened you know uh chadwick boseman mm. he died they were like shit what do we do let's give it a bit of space and then maybe we can reintroduce black panther we don't know who the you know who's going to be the new black panther if they are going to recast i don't know but this news sounds kind of like good in a way, Deval, but Denzel and Black Panther. Tell us about this. Mm. Yeah, so obviously, you know, Denzel, mm. we'll talk about him later in Gladiator 2. Yep. I think uh, as part of his sort of, you know, media cir- circuit for Gladiator 2, he was doing a lot of interviews talking about yep. what he's doing, what he's done and stuff like that. He did actually say that he's going to be retiring soon in Damn. an interview. Yeah, so he said he's going to do... A couple more Shakespeare roles, I believe. I think mm. he said, uh, did he say Macbeth? He did say he's going to do a couple more roles. You know, he's done something already around Macbeth, yeah. didn't he? He, oh, he did do Macbeth. I think he's already done Macbeth. Yeah. Because I know he's done it. Maybe, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to do a couple more roles like that. And then uh, he did say, oh, by the way, uh, Ryan Coogler is, is written me into the next Black Panther for free. Mm. And uh, it's going to be quite a good role, he said. He, did, he didn't go into any more detail, but... You know, he's Denzel, even though, you know, Marvel hate leaks. What can they do? <laughs> he's Denzel, so. Exactly, he's, he's you know, royalty. So. He's, he's Hollywood royalty, basically. Yeah, so it looks like it's official. It looks like he's going to be in Black Panther 3. I'm not mm. sure. I'm sure it's going to be some sort of senior, you know, person or some, yeah. something like that. I'm not, is he going to have an African accent? I don't know. Uh, he doesn't have to, I guess, because in Black Panther 1, get... we saw that they yeah. sent people into America. Didn't um, they? What's so, his name? Remember his brother, the the king's brother, Tyler uh, Sterling, K, K, K Sterling Brown. or something. Remember, yeah. he plays like he's like he plays like yeah. a gangster basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. And talking about accents, we're going to get into accents and especially Denzel into yeah. in Gladiator too. So really great point that you made right there. Mm. Interesting for the MCU, but Deval, this whole thing, you know, I've been reading recently about um, you know them kind of scaling back and then there's going to be less output. And mm-hmm. we've kind of mentioned this before, haven't we? We've said it's kind of like a good thing, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it also kind of feels like a bit of an end of an era where we're not going to kind of get this. I don't know. This like you three, and I four we, movies a year and all yeah, that. And, yeah, yeah, like these event movies type of a thing. But you know, we'll have to wait and see. Mm, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, we quality over quantity, mm. basically. Uh, speaking about Marvel, let's get into this one. So, um, Fantastic Four, obviously, still in development, still making it. Um, you know, we know the cast, they've been put out on show, you know, they were at the, one of the mm-hmm. cinema cons or comic cons or whatever they are. So we know who the cast members are. We know what's going on. However, Deval, synopsis, tell us about this. Yeah. So from what I've, what I've read recently, uh, the synopsis for uh, Fantastic Four has come out mm-hmm. and uh, obviously it's called Fantastic Four First Steps uh, and so we actually saw a taster of the mm. a couple of cast members in, again, uh, Gladiator 2, which we'll talk about. But the synopsis is, yeah, it's going to be sort of sp- inspired by 1960s architecture, uh, you know, landscape. And mm. the Fantastic Four uh, family are going to be battling against a well-known nemesis. Mm. That's going to be uh, Galactus. Okay. Uh, Galactus is going to be so they've, they've confirmed. Obviously, I think the the trailer in the Comic Con sort of showed Galactus a little bit. Yeah. But uh, they've confirmed it's going to be Galactus, uh, voiced by oh, he's voiced by what's his name, Ralph Innocent, who we've seen in many oh. other films and so on. Really deep voice, really good that, voice from um, Game of Thrones. He wasn't he wasn't Game of Thrones a bit, yeah. And also uh, Silver Surfer, who's going to be Julia Garner. You know. Yep. Uh, from uh, Ozark. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, gonna, oh, it's going to be female Silver Surfer. Yeah, female Silver okay, Surfer. Okay, Dorin. Is it Dorin yeah, Nord? So, no, Gorin Nord. I forgot his name. Uh, N- Nord, something Nord. Yeah, 
uh, Aaron Nord or something. I can't remember his name. Yeah, Goran. Uh, Goran. Oh, anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah, so basically the Fantastic Four are going to be basically trying to stop Galactus and his Herald mm. from consuming the Earth because that's what Galactus does. Yeah. So that's going to be their main sort of challenge. And then it also says that there's also going to be a personal challenge as well. So mm. something it gets really personal. And uh, that sure. person, some people are saying that it could be Victor Von Doom, mm. who's very, very close to Fantastic Four. But who, who's playing Victor Von Doom? RDJ. Exactly. So they're saying that we might, we might even see him earlier than we may have expected. So, so a teaser, so a teaser in Fantastic possibly. Four to yeah. set up then Avengers yeah. Doomsday. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's the sort of rumor mill that's that's happening right now so it makes sense because if they want to set up you would have to wait and see because if they want to set up this you know big showdown with victor von doom who's this kind of you know he's powerful and not only yeah. powerful but he's clever as well mad so, intelligent yeah, mad like, intelligent you know, exactly so um 100 i've totally yeah you know let's give us a good decent villain uh mm. let's kind of see galactus let's see uh silver surfer i like the silver surfer it was Lawrence fishbourne wasn't it the voice of yeah. uh Norin Rad, that's his name. Oh, yeah, is it Norin Rad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, yeah, be interesting to see what Julia does on this one. Mm. And um, just remind our listeners again, Duval, when is Fantastic Four out in cinemas? Oh, it's out. It's meant to be out uh, next summer. So I think it's uh, June or July next year, 2025. Okay. Yeah, around there. All right. Around there. I think it's July, actually, yeah. So, yeah. So not too long, you know, in the scheme of things. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and obviously we'll be there watching it, you know, at the cinema mm. and, and bringing you a review. All right, let's get on to new on streaming. Now, Deval, this just, I know that I haven't seen it, but I know the result of this. This is Paul versus Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so did you I'm see a little it? Bit knackered. I'm a bit knackered today because I actually tried to stay up and I sort of semi-stayed up, fell asleep and woke up just in time and the ref was like saying these are the rules no low no low hits and then yeah, he the yeah, yeah. And then it started yeah. i was like oh shit this is five in the morning uk time oh my god so i watched gosh. it tyson uh yeah i mean obviously you know what happened uh I know spoilers what happened. Yeah. anyone hasn't seen it but yeah so uh is it jake paul he's the one that jake won paul. anyway jake paul yeah. there's two pauls in it but yeah he won went all four rounds full eight rounds uh, for the first two rounds, I think Tyson was really giving him a bit of, you know, giving him a bit of work to do. Right. Uh, but to be honest, it was never, I could see really? Tyson was tiring with each round. Yeah. He's an old man. I knew he's in, that what, other is guy he was going to win. Is he in what, late 50s? 58. Oh, 58. Shit. And Jake Paul is less than half his age. I don't think he's even 30, I don't think. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, he's only about yeah, 27, just, 28 or something like that. Yeah. So you can just, I, I, I knew it would get come to this, I, mm. you know. Tyson is an old man. He deserves to have a chill out, have a pension. Yeah. Just put your slippers on, put a Hawaiian shirt on. Payday, man. Smoke a cigar, you know. Yeah, but it's a payday. It's, it's, all it is is a payday because Jake Paul now is launching his his uh, sort of promotion business that he's going to be setting up more fights. This is what it is. This is the first fight of his new business. Yeah. So it's a launch pad, basically. Launch pad, right. And look, how do you yeah. reckon this is a good little win for Netflix? Because this, yeah, this was a win worldwide win event. Yep. NFL's coming to Netflix uh, Christmas Day, I yeah. think, or around Christmas. So they're going to be launching a few live sports events. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just promotion, basically. And Tyson's a big name to get everyone to come and turn up. I think about 80,000 people turned up in Texas to watch yeah. it you know, in person. So, Damn. yeah. Do you, reckon, do you reckon they could bring out um, George Foreman, man? <laughs> the no, guy no, George Foreman no, 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 with no, his no, grill. No, nah, no, he's no, like, no. he must definitely be about not. 70 years old now. It's like, yeah, you know, something. Definitely not. Definitely um, not. But that's interesting. He's in good yeah. shape, though. He's in good shape, but mm. he's too old to be doing that. Yeah. No, no, exactly. Exactly. Um, all right, okay, so that was four versus us. Now, this other one on Netflix, I've seen the kind of bits of little bits and pieces of this one. So, this is Arcane, and this mm. is an animation to Val. So, tell us about this. Yeah, Arcane is, oh man, do you know what? Forgive me for I have sinned. <laughs> I, I started watching this, I watched about three episodes, and then I stopped and got caught up with something Fire else. With something else yeah. This is quality, yeah. quality animation, mm. not just voice acted, but the, the the you know the the graphics and all that yeah it's quality so the fact that I stopped I just it's, it's my fault you know mm. sometimes it's too much to do too it's much too, to watch too, you too can't catch them all yeah, exactly. like Pokemon 
But this season two has just started and you need to go and watch it. I'm going to finish season one and then I'm going to do season two. I've even got to finish Blue Eye Samurai as well. So yes. there's, there's, there's man, a few, I, man. I've got to finish. This Christmas uh, anyway. This Christmas. Yeah. There's, I'm, yeah, actually, I'm going to there's rinse lots. stuff. Yeah. That War of uh, something of Ragnarok. I think I've got to finish. Uh, I got to finish no, Gods that one. of Ragnarok or something. Yeah, that kind of I've animation. That. that was brilliant mm. as well. I want to watch that. So yeah, man. There's a lot oh, of stuff out man. there. Yeah, yeah. Too yeah, yeah, yeah. many things to watch, but 100 mm. percent we'll be doing that. Um, and also for Christmas, there's going to be another What If season three, isn't there? Yeah, the last one I heard. I heard it's the last one. Yes, the final. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, you know, that should be a good little send off uh, for those guys. So we'll watch that one. All right, let's get mm. into trailers. Now, this one, yeah, I saw this trailer, uh, Deva, actually in the cinema just before mm. uh, Gladiator same, 2. Same, yeah. Yeah. So, the <clears throat> final, so this is Mission Impossible, The Final Reckoning. This is it. Tom Cruise has said there's no more after this. I mean, mm. this franchise has been going on since the 90s. Yeah. It's mad, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And there's a poster on IMDb. It's just got his face, like all battered and bruised, black and white. It's just his face, literally. Mm. So this is like, you're right. It's like it's just him. Yeah. It's his last movie in this franchise. And I think it's going to be like a lot of emotional kind of. Yeah. There's one little bit in the. I think in he should trailer. die. I think he you should die. What? It That's should, what I right? want to happen because that would be an end. Otherwise, he's always going to be alive. You got to yeah. let this man die in some big sacrifice or something or. <laughs> I don't know. It'll make him somehow really disappear where, you know, but I don't know, man. We'll see I what know. happens. Absolutely. And there's one little final bit in the trailer where he's like, um, trust me this one last time. And then, mm. you know, it, mm. this is the last time because it's got to yeah. be, unless mm. they have like a spin off, but he's obviously not going to be involved in that. And then mm. it goes off in different directions, or whatever, you know, they possibly could, but mm. yeah, man, look, it'd be great to see on the big screen. We know mm. Tom Cruise makes big movies and this is yeah. going to be a big send off. I do like the the way the enemy is AI. AI yes. could be something that could be an enemy in the future. So I do I do like the way they use that in this movie. So yeah, it should yeah. be interesting. Yeah. You know mm. what I could see them doing, Devel? Because this is Paramount. Mm. I mm. could see them doing a TV show, but like a younger, like the life of Ethan Hunt as a younger person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Some sort of or spin-off, innit? Yeah. Some sort of spin-off or where they kind of like pick up from the events of this and then they take it into mm. a TV show mm. and then it's kind of like another agent like of the yeah, MIS yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the Mission Impossible agents or something yeah. like that. So easily could happen. We'll mm. have to wait and see. So go check that one out. Uh, the next one, I haven't seen this one, so Deval, fill in the blanks here. This is Amateur. Yeah. Did I spell it wrong? Teacher. It is. I, I was like, what? I didn't know what. I didn't know That's what why you couldn't find it, probably, it. I mean, so I what is amateur. this movie? Amateur. Oh my god. So tell us about the amateur. The amateur uh, is a film um, yeah. starring the guy from Doctor Robot or Mister Robot. Oh, you know, that Rami, guy. Rami, Rami, Rami Malik. Malik. Yeah. Yeah, he's got such a funny face. This guy. He's always yeah. like a. He was a Bond villain. Remember? Hello. That's his face, isn't it? <laughs> I'm doing, oh my God, we, I'm doing his face. It looks like <laughs> it looks like as if you've been stretched out. I know. It. <laughs> his face looks like an avatar. It's like he's just got this stuck expression. Devour was just film. doing his face. It's so funny. He's just stretched out. Yeah, go on. But in this film, so he stars as a amateur, but like a bit like a uh, Mission Impossible. He's part of the CIA, oh, okay. uh, and he manages to. Basically, uh, I think they did they kill his wife. Yeah, some terrorists killed his wife. Like mm. right before him, they killed his wife. He's part of the CIA. He's, he's, the, he's sort of the the man in the chair in yeah. the CIA. So he stays in the room. He's a tech okay. guy. Never comes out on the field. Yeah, because uh, they killed his wife. Now he's like, nah, 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 nah. nah. I need to get even. They killed my wife. Yeah. I need to get these guys. And they're like, no, 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 no. Hold on. You just stay where you are. We're going to deal with it. Like, mm. you know, and he's like, you're just, a, you're, just a, you're just a desk man. Exactly. He's like, nope. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm going to. So he goes rogue and he starts to hunt down these people one by one by mm. going out in the field, going rogue. Gotcha. And it goes to show that don't mess with the man in the chair. <laughs> yes, he can't yeah. kick. He can't even shoot a gun. But yep. he sets certain things up where <laughs> a bit like a law abiding citizen. It's a bit like he's very smart and very measured, yeah, very absolutely. patient. Yeah. So it's got a good, good cast. Good. So it's got him, Rami Malik. It's got uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. It's got uh, The Punisher. 
Oh my uh, gosh. The What's his name again? His name John. is John Burfell. Burfell, yeah. Burfell. He's in it. Uh, so yeah, it's got a good cast. When you see the trailer, you, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I want to go check it out. Yeah, The Amateur. Um, mm. And that should be out pretty soon, right? That's out in April, actually, next year. A lot of trailer now, trailers now are for next year. So this is April okay. 2025. A- yeah, April 2025. All right, okay. Mm. Next one, The Return. So tell us mm. about this one. The Return. So this is a bit of a biblical show today in some parts. So okay. this one is, uh, again, Greek mythology. Okay, so nice, yeah. Biblical-ish. Uh, so The Return is, uh, what's the guy's name from? A dis- uh, um... Fines, Ralph yeah, Fines. Ralph, yeah, yeah, he's from Ralph um, Fines. like Harry Potter. He's done James okay, Bond. He's, okay. been, he's been in a lot of stuff. He's been mm. like, you know, he's a big British actor. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so he's in. He's the main star in this film, and mm. it's about. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of Odysseus. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, Odysseus, Odysseus and and, and the trials of Odysseus. Yes, the trials and the journey that he went on. Yeah. He went on a twenty-year mm. sort of journey or trial out in you know ancient Greece. Yeah, after uh, the Trojan War. After the Trojan War, which we're going to tap, we're going to talk about later. Yeah, uh, and he comes back. So this is a return after those twenty years. After he's taken men. Gone on his on his journey, yeah. But you can you can Google and look at Odysseus's yeah. journey. It's very very F- famous, crazy, yeah, yeah very yeah. famous. And he's returned back, and then what happens after that return? How people treat him, mm. uh, how he has to we you know get his name back, and yep. he feels guilty because he's the only person that returned. All his men, you know, died and stuff. Yeah. So this looks like the sort of I guess another trial that he has to go through but this looks like an interesting film mm. done well in the Toronto Film Festival and stuff yeah. so I don't mind yeah. a bit of kind of bit like you know kind of those historical epic ones mm. um we know obviously Hollywood they they don't always get the kind of the facts right and I say facts because yeah. obviously this is a story from like three four hundred like BC like or even like God knows when so yeah. uh, when this story was written and everything like that so it's interesting, and um, I I wouldn't mind watching it actually. It's so funny though, as one of the writers, you got Edward Bond, you got John Coley. They've also credited Homer, <laughs> so hopefully it's got some accuracy there. If Homer is credited as a writer, if, if Homer is credited, okay. not Homer Simpson, by the way, but not Homer, Simpson, exactly. right? Homer, the old author, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> interesting so we'll keep an eye on that one for you and then when that's out we'll review it uh all right okay let's move on what else have we got oh sorry no another one uh mary on um Mm. on netflix so another netflix devour so tell us about this one mary is this uh, a horror movie (laughs) no (laughs) no like i said we're getting getting biblical today the Mary, okay. and that means okay. Jay Blige too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is Mary. Uh, this is yeah. out. Uh, let me see if I can find it because it's hard to really. I don't know why. Name on IMDb is not making it easy for me. Mm. Uh, but this is uh, basically Mary, the mother of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this is a film that looks at her story, right? Uh, and sort of you know what she had to sort of deal with in that time and immaculate conception it looks like you know she said i cannot be a child and someone says have faith have faith you know what i mean one of them ones so be sure ask and you shall receive (laughs) exactly so uh yeah so it sort of looks at that looks at her journey and Mm. yeah it just looks at you know the, the sort of side of the side of things that we don't really get to hear about often. Obviously we get you to know. hear about Jesus, obviously. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But you know, Jesus came from uh obviously I mean in the flesh anyway, came from yeah. a woman and that woman's name is Mary. Like you know, mm-hmm. you know, some people say, oh, Mary, mother of Jesus, you know, they actually say it as part of, you know, their life almost. And they do. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, the story of Mary. This is out uh in on Netflix, actually. This is out in early December, I want to say, on Netflix. Yeah. So you'll see it come up on your Netflix list and you can click it and give and, it a watch just and before Christmas. Just before Christmas, exactly. Mm. Um, it's funny because I think Mel Gibson, because obviously we've had The Passion of the Christ and I, I, mm. I'm pretty sure there was a rumour going around that Mel Gibson was going to do a sequel to that as well, like The, yes, the Resurrection yes, or something. Yes, yeah, yeah. I still don't know if that's been confirmed yet. That's what mm. I heard as well. And it'll be interesting 
It'd be interesting, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just talking about him, actually, there was a movie that was just recently on Netflix, really. It's called um, On the Line. It's a mad mm. movie about Mel Gibson's in it, right? And at some point, we've got to speak about it. So if you get a chance, watch that one. It's a madness. Mm. But um, anyway, let's move on to new on streaming. No, okay. sorry. No. Um, oh, anniversary what? Corner, yeah. Anniversary Corner, I mean. Deval, take it away. Mm-hmm. Anniversary Corner. Okay, so this one, remember, we used to have that, used to have that little jingle back in the day. Oh, my uh, God. Anniversary <laughs> Corner. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> what were we thinking? Oh, my God. And then God. we used to do... Anniversary corner for 10 years, 10 15 movies. years, 20 years. Yeah, like about six movies. Um, or this, show used, this show used to go on, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. What was I doing again? Oh, yes. Yeah, so anniversary corner is Troy. So Troy, yeah. 20, 2004, 20 years ago. Wow. Madness. 20 years ago. Yeah. 20. Mm. Damn. No, I know, uh, not I my, know. Uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. And, um, yeah, what's his name? Peak, um, peak form. Yeah. Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Oh, uh, which Hulk was it again? Eric Banner. Edward Norton. Oh, that one. Sorry. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> looking, which Hulk? Uh, and, yeah, uh, Eric Banner. And uh, yeah. Legolas was in it as well. Yes, obviously. Coming coming off uh, Lord of the Rings. Yep, yep. 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 So, yeah, so this is, this is again, this is the Battle of Troy. Mm. Uh, this is depicted in Greek mythology, Battle of Troy, uh, is it Helen of Troy who calls Helen. she she's she's so they, beautiful? So, so Helen of Troy and um mm. uh, Orlando Bloom's character, Paris, Prince Paris, they mm. see each other, they lock eyes, she's already mm. married, mm. and then um you know what? When eyes lock, that's mm. it. She escapes with him, and then the Greek the Macedon is it the Mac- I can't remember if it's the Macedonians, but they uh, obviously start a war with the Trojans. Mm. And um, and then there you go. And then that's the whole thing. And then there's only one hero who can defeat them. Uh, and that's uh, Troy, Achilles. Achilles. And and do you know the story of Achilles? Do you know why yeah. he's named that? Because he was dipped in Poseidon and he was held with just... His, 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 it, like his, 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 his feet, but... I think he's the the hand. I don't know who who dipped him in the water. I think it was. I can't remember who it was. Was yeah, it his was mum? It his might have been mom, even Zeus or something. Or, Zeus, yeah, I, yeah, something so like they, that. Where they it. dipped him into the water, it's like the, his feet. His his Achilles was covered yeah, they, by the hand. They held it from that the Achilles. The only bit, bit that it. did not touch the water. That's that mad. And that is why our Achilles heel. Is a weak spot. Weak if you mash up your Achilles, you're finished. Exactly, Mate. and that's where it comes from. And Prince Paris, who's considered kind of like the you know the the weak, not not the kind of the warrior type of thing. He's the one who actually delivers the fatal blow. Yes, because he's impervious everywhere else, but the Achilles is his only weak spot. Mm. Imagine that. Imagine that's that Achilles. Heel. And that's why that's why they call it Achilles. Achilles. Yeah. Like Achilles. yeah. That's weak. I know. Man, I love them that. stories, man. That is Achilles. mad. I know. And then it's so funny because God. when you have a conversation with someone, you say, oh, what's his Achilles heel? Yes. Meaning, what's his, what's his weakness? Spot? What's his weak spot? Oh, or what's his, what's no. his kryptonite? God. And you know, in this film, Odysseus is there. So we just mentioned Odysseus in yes. The Return with uh, Ralph Fiennes. Odysseus in this film was Sean Bean. Oh, gotcha. so I guess he links up again with Legolas. In, in this in, film uh, as well. In, for Lord of the Rings. And that's yeah. great, right? So, Devout, it's a great choice. Go check it out. I'm pretty sure mm. you can get it on Disney Plus or something. It's, on, it's, it's on maybe Probably. one of those platforms, mm. yeah. Um, and you're right, Brad Pitt, peak Brad Pitt. Like, mm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, you know, there's. The, I remember the, remember at the beginning of the movie where there's a fight scene where... Oh, don't, don't. The, you know the one I'm talking about, right? They're all standing in, they're all standing in it like... And then the two, the two warriors just come out. Yes. Because in the oh, olden days, it's like, bit. okay... That's my favourite bit. Wicked. And then the guy that they pull out is this Nathan giant... Nathan Jones. He's a wrestler. Oh, Australian guy. Gosh. Nathan Jones. He's like seven foot tall, massive. Huge. Brad Pitt runs up to him because they, they think... He's the best Who's that they've the got. Who's the skinny guy? Like, you know. He runs up to him and just... That's where he runs like bit by bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just goes... In the neck. And the guy just falls wicked. down and... and he's he won walks, the war. He walks up to the rest of them. He's like walking around like... Is this the best you've got? 
And everyone just sort of stands off in it. It's like thousands of men. No one I wants know. to touch him. That's I know. Gangster. That's wicked. I love that opening scene. That is brilliant. So oh, um, if you can, go check it out. Lots of great scenes in there. Lots of great performances and a great story. And this leads us nicely mm. into the main movie that we're going to be speaking about. So this is Gladiator 2. This is uh, 24 years, Deval, after the first Gladiator, mm-hmm. where we saw Ridley Scott, you know, team up with Russell Crowe, Oscar winning performance, you know, Oscar winning film. Mm. Although he didn't win, although Ridley Scott didn't win best director, he won best film, but he didn't okay. win, win him the best, uh, best director award. But um, I remember this movie developed 24 years ago. I remember it going to the cinema, this massive hype about the whole thing. You I know, remember. yeah, yeah. Like oh, kind okay. of, um, you know, um, the kind of this, you know, uh, idea of the Colosseum, they're going to take us back mm. to the Colosseum, the days of the gladiators. And we're going to, you know, there was a lot of hype around the whole thing. And, um, you know, memorable scenes, like, you know, mm. that, that scene where he's like, I ain't not entertained. are you not entertained? <laughs> and like, you know, uh, you know, my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Like so many kind that's, of, like, that scenes. line, I swear, did that win him the Oscar? Was it, did he win an Oscar for this? Yeah, he won an Oscar. That, I swear that line won him the Oscar, in it? Just the way that, that was delivered. It? That whole mm. thing, this idea, you know, the oh, Emperor of man. Rome, Marcus Aurelius, and then Commodus, or Joaquin Phoenix, uh, who was really kind of like a, a nasty emperor. And when you start he looking played at... Well. He played it really well. And when mm. you start looking at the historical kind of things, like, you know, who these emperors were and everything, yeah, mm. you do kind of realise that there was mm. Commodus, there was this Marcus Aurelius. All based on facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah all, all based on facts. All based on fact. Mm. And, um, you know, the time period. And what I loved about it was... The, the Colosseum, it was this spectacle, wasn't it? And mm-hmm. back in 2000, I can't mm-hmm. remember. It was kind of like you did have these kind of movies that came out, but it was one of those movies which was, it was, you know, well directed, well acted, great storyline, mm-hmm. you know, real heart behind the whole thing. I watched thing. it again day before watching part two, literally. I watched it a day before. And it's Fresh. Great. Right. And it's great. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, so many kind of Good great film. little bits. No, of really less, less, not so much special effects. It was all practical stuff. I don't know if you know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bit in the Colosseum fight where they talk about, you know, bloopers and there's, there's a bit where the chariots are coming through and yeah. I think there's a camera. You can see a camera oh, or you can see, really? even to this day, you got to... You got to oh, watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, but, you know... Uh, no, a lot of practical effects, up, man. Exactly. Him teaming up with Jim and Honsu. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. um, Oliver Reed, who was kind of mm. like, you know, there and then afterwards he died and... Yeah. Um, Connie Nielsen, who looks the same now, literally. So at home, Wonder Woman as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, there was always this thing with Ridley Scott is, you know, he was doing all these other movies in between in the last 24 mm. years, like Napoleon just very, very recently. Kind of. So he loves the kind of historical movies, grand epic scale. And the question that I remember him being interviewed, and he was like, so are we going to get to see another Gladiator? He was like, um, no. For him... Mm. He was like, I've done that story. Russell Crowe did that story. Mm. Uh, Spoiler, he dies at the end. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what story is left to tell? So here we are 24 years later. Ridley Scott isn't done with it. He Mm. has got a story to tell. And we've now picked up. So interestingly, it's, although it's been 24 years in our, in real life, Mm. it's been 16 years since the events of, uh, you know, of Gladiator Part 1. So, Commodus, he's dead, and then you've had various other emperors, and then you get these two sibling emperors. Mm. And, um, Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And one of those b- brothers, he's going to be in um, Fantastic Four. Yeah, yeah. Joseph Fine, or what's his name? Joseph Quinn. Mm. Who was in um, Stranger Things as well. Mm-hmm. So he plays one of the emperors and it's kind of, you know, similar, like Commodus, two br- emperors, brothers, they, mm. they, you know, Rome's gone to shit. You know, it starts off with a big, massive battle. Pedro Pascal, he plays a, I thought, you know what? Interesting. I thought he was going to be the villain. That's what I thought. Yeah. And do you know what? It's funny you say that because in a way, after watching one and watching mm. two back to back, in my mind, they're all villains. You know that? Mm. Because, yes, Russell Crowe in part one was seen as a hero, blah, blah, blah. They were he going do? around killing people, taking over their land. Absolutely. In the first one, they went to Germania, which I don't, yeah. know, I don't, I don't know if it's Germany or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they called them barbarians. They were just protecting themselves. 
Exactly. The, the Roman Empire wanted to spread itself everywhere by killing people and taking Absolutely. over their land. So Russell Crowe was a he was a baddie, even yeah. though he didn't. He wanted to retire. Still, he's be doing bad stuff. The emperor's <laughs> bidding. He, they're yeah. still killing people, slaughtering people, burning people, it's doing the whole thing today. And they call it expansion, or they call it exactly. You know, oh, oh give you education. Oh, give you this healthcare. We'll you... They just kill people and take yeah. their land, stealing land. That is exactly so. Uh, and this is kind of like a big ap- epic battle that happens in the beginning. And then obviously, you know, um, Pedro Pascal, he wins. He does it for the Roman Empire, but he's tired. He wants to retire and he's not really happy. And in amidst all of that, they mm. they capture, like obviously slaves. That's, that's what they used to do. They used to capture people. They used to take them on. And eventually mm-hmm. one person uh, who is uh, uh, played by this actor called Paul Mescal. He's the, obviously the main guy in this i've seen him in um uh what did we see him in he was he he's an up and coming actor he's an irish actor developed yeah, he's good he's good he's he's been mm. in other stuff um um there was a movie that you reviewed actually where he's the ghost or something oh uh none of us uh, what's it called I, i'll find it all of us are what friends or all of us are something it's a, like it's that a t- t- like a gay gay couple yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah exactly. yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, he's yeah, the, yeah. So yeah. he said, and and he was in kind of like um, uh, he's been in other things as well. So he's going to be kind mm-hmm. of like this big up and coming star, um, yeah. and he's going to there's going you'll see him in other things. Uh, mm-hmm. So he's captured. All he of us strangers, as, sorry, all of us strangers. Yeah, yeah, he gets taken as a slave, and it's very similar to uh, part one, right? Same mm-hmm. thing with yeah. kind of um, what's his name, Russell Crowe. He gets captured. Yeah. He Mm -hmm. becomes a slave. He Mm -hmm. then has to prove himself. He has to fight. So very, very similar. So I guess Ridley Scott is giving us what the audience wants after 24 years, this kind of journey, the journeys, you know, the hero's journey of, you know, becoming a slave, then becoming a hero and then bringing down an empire and all this sort of stuff. So you get all of that, a retread. And there's a twist though, Duval. Mm, Twist it, twist it. There's a twist. So yeah. if you haven't seen the movie, now is going to be a right time for you to pause it and come back. And the twist is that this slave mm. who has been captured and becomes a, a gladiator is the son of Maximus, who yeah. is played by Russell Crowe. So, you know, it kind of brings the story, you know, right back round yeah. again. And we find out through the but course you know of the movie. When they said it's the son of Maximus, because he, he picks up the sand and rubs it just like Maximus does, isn't it? I know. And that's when uh, the lady, Connie, uh, Connie Connie Nielsen, who's the daughter of Marcus Aurelius and the brother of uh, Joaquin Phoenix, who's back Mm. again. She really, she's like, "Hmm? I've seen that before. (laughs) Even his fighting style, she's like, so that's when we realise that that's Maximus' son. But then I thought, hold on, Maximus' son and wife died. Mm. They were burnt. So I thought, how does that work? And then then we realised that that's her son, so her and Maximus they got had a together. Fling. Some, yeah, they, they, they got together at some stage before Maximus, I guess, got with his wife because yeah. his son was re- was younger than than uh, Lucius. So I think that's yeah. what happened. And I think you kind of get the hint in Gladiator One that they had a bit of a history. She wanted to revisit that history, but he was like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah. I got my I'm wife." Married now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah. So I didn't really, yeah. So now you kind of get it. You know, you kind of get it and, when you watch this one. And then there's a back, excuse me, there's kind of like a backstory about what happened. Like, you know, where did he go after the events? Of, where did mm. the kid go after the events of Gladiator? Yeah. And then you kind of get this backstory and everything like that. So, so in a lot of cases, it's very similar to uh, the first Gladiator, you know, this kind of the hero's journey and everything. Yeah. And for me, Deval, I'll be honest with you. I, I went into the movie with no expectations because... Mm. You know, the for me the first one was was great. I mean, and that yeah. story was told. We saw the Colosseum and we saw kind of that whole thing. I was more interested in right. Okay, so they're bringing in Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Denzel Washington is going to do because he's obviously when you bring in someone like Denzel, he's going to mm-hmm. bring gravitas. He's going to bring this kind of Shakespearean oh, type of. Yes. He's going to bring in. You mentioned earlier on about Shakespeare. Mm-hmm. And then I found it really strange, or maybe it's just me, but I thought he would have gone for a kind of a different voice. He mm. went with his American voice. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Interesting uh, choice. 
there wasn't anyone else with that. So uh, where did he come from? Because it, it also came out that he used to be a gladiator or he was yeah. enslaved well, he, by well, Marcus Aurelius. Slave. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure where that happened. But yeah, it's interesting. I, I thought he would have had a different accent too. But mm. I think Amer some Americans, some, I guess, don't do a good English accent. But I don't know, what, what was his accent in Macbeth? Because I've never seen it. I don't know but if it was American what? or English. Has, he has done a British accent because he made oh, a movie it? years ago, years okay. ago. Okay. A really interesting movie. And I remember watching this as a kid. It was called For Queen and Country. He mm. plays a British soldier coming back from the war uh, with Argentina, the Falklands War. Is it? He comes back to London. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington in a British accent. It's a bit I've wonky. Got to see it. I've got to see Mate, it. It's a bit wonky. I've got to see it. That's, but he can do it. And then I thought, oh, he's already done Shakespeare. He's already done Macbeth. Mm, this guy mm, can mm. lend some voice. I've got to see it. I've and, got to see like, it. you know, I thought, but he was, you know, it's interesting to see Denzel Washington play the kind of the, the kind of the power hungry, yeah. you know, he wants to kind of be the ruler type of thing. So that yeah. was really interesting. Because um, his, his role is a bit like Oliver Reed's role in, se in season one, in Gladiator one. But yes. Denzel Washington's one is way more ambitious way more insidious yes. way more dangerous yep he seems like a game of thrones character he's just got a Big lot time. of he's got he's got a lot going on that he only Calculating. plays certain cards but he's got all cards behind his back he's playing yeah. different people he's mm. a very dangerous man in this film exactly and you know mm. what right there was one interesting bit in the movie and um I remember I've, I've actually been to Rome. I've been to the Colosseum mm, and you know same. when you do when you do the tour of the whole thing mm. you like you realize that whole water thing, mm -hmm. I thought, even before I went to Rome, I read about it. I saw something like that. I thought, no, that's bollocks. That is all true. They but used they put to, water in a Colosseum. Are you they, serious? Because I thought that was bullshit. I was like, huh? Duvaldo, so many people thought that that was bullshit. They actually did have events where they used to flood it and they used to reenact like all this sort of stuff. Now, the only thing that I don't, I think, which I thought was, I don't no know, sharks. Which I, yeah. the sharks. Come <laughs> yeah, on, no, 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 no. Oh, that was no, ridiculous. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Even that the boats, how, how deep would it have to be for a boat to actually be, to able actually to be floating on there? Yeah, but on, I mate. do know, I do know, they did used to flood oh. it and put water and stuff like that in there. Is but it, you know yeah. what? There was, a, I was, there was a, a bit in the movie where they fight the baboons, and you know what? The CGI oh. for me was mm. just a little bit off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, was, I, I, I was like, you know. Like somebody did it with AI and just did it in like two days, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. There, there, there was a bit in there where he's fighting off against baboons and the baboons mm. are, they, I mean, they're nasty, man. Yeah. If they get hold of you, that's it, game over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this guy wrestles like with the baboons. Mm. You know, and these are rabid baboons, man. Mm. You know, I think they, I, they give them rabies. They, they go, <laughs> put something in them to make them even more wild, isn't it? Like aggressive and everything like that. And he just yeah, takes down like. the, he just takes down the baboons and then there's a rhino in there. Baboons. So I, I, we didn't I see get any it. Arses, did we? they didn't show us them red ass. Why not? <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> a and red, you know batty, baboon. <laughs> so true. Red, and batty. You know <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine just like in life? <laughs> If you got with someone okay. and, they, and like, they pulled down their pants and they had a red batty, red. like a full on red batty, like a baboon. And you see bit, <laughs> bits of hair on the side, like, oh you know, my gosh, I'm like, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll drop you back off at the Coliseum. It's okay. Um, um, but you so said there were some bits in there where I thought the sharks was absolutely ridiculous. Come on, yeah. Duval. Mm. So how do they get the sharks in the Colosseum? <laughs> These are some it's jaws ridiculous. sharks, some big sharks, you know. It's ridiculous. Oh my so, gosh! In some regards, overall, I mean, yeah, go yeah, on. I think I think good performance. I think the thing is, I'm similar to you. I thought it's going to be shit, yeah. and you know what? I didn't think it was shit, which is a yeah. good thing because I thought, yeah. oh, Gladiator Two, this was mm. okay. It was, it was okay. It wasn't better exactly. than the first one, but no. it was okay. Two and a half hours. It, I didn't fall asleep. The performances from, I think, a lot of people. I mean, uh, Connie Nilsson just looks the same and yeah. act, acted the same. She'd done well. Denzel, he was charming, dangerous, villainous. He'd done cool as well. Killer. Mescal, he'd done a good job. Uh, I did like Joseph Quinn and the other guy, the two creepy Ooh, kind creep of emperors. dangerous emperors. Yeah. That just, you can imagine back in the day, they just 
because this was based on true events as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there were two, two emperors, two yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And so he, you can imagine and the, the bad things is, they did. The yeah. only difference is, is the one of the one of the brothers was killed by. He was killed by the other yeah. one, but it was the guards that killed yes. him. Yes, yeah, the centurions, yeah. they called him the back then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in yeah. this one, it's Denzel that does the deed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think in this one, Denzel basically wants to create chaos mm. so that he can come and be the peacekeeper and the person that brings a solution back to this, you know, back to Rome, and then yeah. he can be heralded as the savior. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to create chaos, you know, so... That's what, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, I think overall the performances were good. It was, it was an okay film. You know, I don't, yeah. I, I don't need a third. But do you know what? No. I got news for you. Oh my god, they're doing a third one. From what we hear, what I understand, yeah. a third one is being planned. And Paul Mescal, is it his name? Paul, yeah, Paul Mescal, uh, yeah, Lucius. The next film is going to look at his journey going forward. Look at how he's sort of Jeez. come to be the sort of the new sort of leader new kind of person. Of yeah. Of so that's what I'm understanding is going to be going forward. So mm, that's mm. what to look forward to. If you're going to look forward to that, I think that's going to be shit, but <laughs> yeah, I know. And listen, by the way, the end towards the end of the movie, there's, there's a face off and a oh, spoiler alert again. There's a face off mm. between, uh, you know, Lucius the, <laughs> and, and Denzel. Would, was there ever any doubt who was going to win that fight? That was just a silly fight, mate. That, it's like, what? So if, that's almost like do you know what that's actually <laughs> do you know what that was an ancient version of Tyson and blimmin um, <laughs> Jake Paul Jake Paul yeah literally literally like one of them is 60 and the other one's like 20 something literally that's what it was and then I just thought okay why not set it up to let us believe that at least Denzel Washington he's like he's like you know you get those older guys who are like old but they're like mm. tough yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he gets his arm chopped yeah. off, and then he's just like, oh. he's even wearing the right attire. My man's wearing robes to fight. <laughs> he's wearing he goes in a fight with robes, <laughs> like flailing around. He's, he's all going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's fighting like that. He's got Doctor Strange's robe on, like, you know his thing, like you he's know, fighting with like... robes, and then he jumps into the water. <laughs> And this guy has just killed and you're like, you know, he's keep fighting rhinoceroses and you're jumping in the pool with him. Yeah. Man. What, there's only one way this is going to end. So I was like, oh gosh, man. But imagine, uh, imagine Ridley Scott. Imagine Ridley Scott yeah. says to Denzel, like he's reading scripts at like, Denzel, look, you're going to have to have a fight scene with him. Mm. And, um, you know, how are we going to do this? And imagine Denzel was like, he's like 65, right? It mm. must be. 60. No, hold on. He's 60 years old. He looks great, by the 60, way. But... No, he's 60, 60 something. Yeah, I think he's 60 something. I think. Yeah. He's I think not, so. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have. But the, he's... Yeah. But he still, I mean, he still looks great for his age and everything. Yeah. But one man, this, this is a gladiator as he's fighting. Uh, mm. So listen, look, folks, there you have it. That is our take on Gladiator Part 2. Go check it out. You'll find it at your Cinemaplex, wherever you are in the world, wherever you're listening to this. Um, and maybe in a few years' time, we see a part three. Hmm. Val. <laughs> Val. Hopefully not. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, so, um, uh, yeah, there you go. So, I mean, listen, definitely watch Troy, I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to revisit that. I think I'm, I'm going to have to revisit Troy it. now. I've yeah. got to see that scene again. Yeah. I have to see that fight scene again. That. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, keep it locked with the fix Flixers, folks. We're going to bring you more movies on next week's show. And uh, yeah, we're gearing up to Christmas, New Year's. So uh, keep mm -hmm. it locked with us. So yeah, until next.